Okay everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Yes, you join us back here in Trapper's Cabin and we are pretty much good to go. I've done a little bit of housekeeping since you last saw me. Hello Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, so basically I have uh, tidied up my inventory a little bit, got rid of some stuff that I don't need. I've made some more water um, on the fire, got rid of a few things that we don't need anymore and I have drank some coffee which has given me a fatigue and warmth bonus and we are going to head out into the wilderness. We've got to make our way, I think, to Forlorn Muskeg. That is where we need to go. If we have a quick look on the map, you can see that we need to head out towards Forlorn Muskeg. So, let's go. And I assume that we are now going to be more actively hunted by the bear. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it leaps at us as soon as we come out through this door. Part of me is kind of, I am on edge. I tell you what, my anxiety level is really quite high. I am properly on edge. Okay, so. Let's make our way out then towards Forlorn Muskeg. Now, I'm going to go the way that I know, so I don't get lost. This basically involves coming up this way. See, I have that warmth bonus from the coffee. That was my old tactic that I used to use a very long time ago in my old playthroughs, which I've kind of got out of my routine a little bit in some of my uh, playthroughs now. I don't have that kind of always drink something hot before you go out routine that I used to have, so I need to try and get back into that habit. It's mostly out of a desire to uh, not have to light too many fires, particularly early in the game, but maybe I need to start doing that before I head out from any location first thing in the morning. Just do a very short duration fire, drink coffee, make a little bit of extra water, and then head out. Okay, so we're looking good at the moment. The bear is not here. Uh, we're going to make our way towards the transition area to Forlorn Muskeg. Now I'm going to try and get across Forlorn Muskeg in one go. Now. One thing that I'm not sure of is whether the bear is going to follow us. Whether the bear is just going to stick around on Mystery Lake. Or if it's actually going to follow us. Uh, through Forlorn Muskeg. And over to Broken Railroad. That is my concern. That the bear is going to wind up following us. And we're going to have to fight it off. We may well encounter different bears. We may well encounter the moose. I'm kind of going to cut this way a little bit because this is the direction we need to be heading in. So if we can do that when we're quite high up, that's probably for the best. Okay. So far, so good. I could all be completely wrong, you know. It could be the bear does not appear until much, much later in the game properly. So we kind of need to head in this direction. This is the the route across to Forlorn Muskeg, down the railroad, or the railway, depending on which side of the Atlantic you come from. Down the railway line. There we are, there it is. Good area for collecting sticks, this one. But you do tend to find wolves around here, which is why I don't... If you've ever noticed in my uh, survival mode playthroughs, I don't come to this section very often. That's because you do find a lot of wolves around. Oh, speaking of which, there's one. Okay, I'm going to switch weapons. I've got rid of some of my ammunition. I've left it behind in Trapper's Cabin because I felt that I didn't particularly need it. Um, I'm, I'm not really hunting. I've got a decent supply of food. So I'm not really hunting. Oops, my uh, coffee has expired. But it's it's achieved the goal. It's done what we needed it to do. Okay, I'm just going to make a bolt for it now. There we are. Okay, so heading out to Forlorn Muskeg then. We're going to leave Mystery Lake. And we're going to head on to Forlorn Muskeg. 
And I am going to do what I normally do in these kind of uh, situations. I'm just going to try and go straight across Forlorn Muskeg. I'm not going to get distracted by Forlorn Muskeg. It's quite um, a difficult region. There's very little shelter on Forlorn Muskeg, if any at all, really. Um, there are no man-made indoor locations on Forlorn Muskeg. Um, there's a couple of caves and there is a couple of barns, but they're not in inside locations, if you like. Um, they're technically outdoor locations, sheltered out outdoor locations. So they're uh, not they're not above freezing by default. So it's quite a tricky region to survive in. It's it's not impossible. It's relatively you know it's it's okay. It's interesting stuff here. And I think in one of my survival mode playthroughs, I think I am going to uh, come out and spend a little bit of time on Forlorn Muskeg. But, uh, what well, I have actually, to be fair, in the past, but not massive amounts. Let's uh, just try and explore Forlorn Muskeg a little bit more. There is a forge here on Forlorn Muskeg, over at the far end, in a farmstead. You can't get into the actual farm buildings themselves, but there's a barn, and inside the barn there is a forge. If you keep the forge burning, that is quite a nice warm location to be in. But I did once get eaten by a wolf through the wall there once, which obviously was a glitch. Um, I actually did get taken out by a wolf who got me through the wall, which was uh, quite an interesting one. Okay, lots of walls on Flormus Keg. There's one. I'm just going to keep going straight down the railroad line, or railway line. I am slightly encumbered because I'm carrying both of my weapons. I'm carrying my rifle and my distress flare. My distress pistol, which uh, obviously they're both quite heavy with the ammunition, so I am a little bit encumbered. What's the temperature, by the way? Minus 14, it's quite cold. When it's really clear and bright like this, you tend to find that it is actually quite cold, particularly early in the day in the long dark. And that's one advantage of me not being in the picture. Did I just hear a bark? Or was... I think that... I did just hear a bark, but I think it was a real bark of my neighbour's dog outside. I think it came from uh, it came from my right side, which is the kitchen, and that's where the dog goes outside. So I think it was my neighbour's dog. Rather than a wolf. Okay, so we're coming up to the rail crash. One of several rail crashes. There's a few things. There's a toque there that we don't need, so we won't worry about it. Oh, water I'm going to take. Matches I'll take. I did leave some matches behind in Trapper's Cabin. Antiseptic! I'm actually inclined, I know it's a little bit odd, to leave. I don't think we need it. Let's come around here. I can never remember which side it is to get in here. Here we go. So this is... I if I can drop any of this gear. Advanced guns, guns, guns. Preserves nature's balance in nearby areas by reducing the wolf population. Colour wolf in Mystery Lake. Colour wolf in Forlorn Musk. Basically, we need to shoot some wolves in every single region in order to complete that objective. Kind of um, I'll have a look at those. I'll have a look at that. More, more rifle ammunition. Spare bedroll. I'm thinking I might leave some of my stuff behind here as a little supply cache. Um, obviously, we've got this. I might just gather. There's a few bits of coal here. I'll just gather those up and pop them next to this fire barrel. So when we're coming back later, we can use this as a nice little safe haven. So we've got two bits of coal. I'll drop those. I'm going to drop um, a couple of tinder plugs, a box of matches. Um, I'm going to drop the book as well as some fuel. So there's Plenty of, plenty, I thought that had gone through the floor then. Plenty of stuff here that we can use to start fires with. And to get ourselves going. I am encumbered. How encumbered am I? Only slightly, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to carry on then. There's some uh, antibiotics there as well, we're going to leave those. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, well that... I say that's awkward, that might actually help us with this objective. The wolf eating the deer on the tracks in front of us, we might actually be able to take this wolf out. Which might then satisfy... When a wolf is eating, you can usually get a little bit closer. Which increases your chances of hitting it.
Claro. I missed. <laughs> I missed. Never mind. At least we've scared it off. Okay, we're gonna carry on. Oh. Okay. It was coming back towards us. I, th I thought it had actually clocked us, but it hadn't. It's just coming back towards us. This is potentially quite a dangerous situation because wolves zigzag if you uh, point a weapon at them. So uh, I'm actually now kind of inclined to back away from the wolf. It won't clock me down here. So I'm just walking on the ice. I just need to be a bit careful of the weak ice, which you get on the lawn keg. There we go. Hopefully, we're past it. Then we have a broken section of the railroad. Rail, uh, Railway line. I'm getting myself all tongue tied over railway and railroad. So, of course, depends which side of the pond you come from as to what you call it. She just spotted there's a little uh, collapsed lookout tower over there, which I've never spotted before on Columbus Cake. That must be a relatively new. Addition. Okay, so we're all looking relatively safe. Oh, we're at her. just as I say that, just as I say that, we get to hypothermia risk. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, we'll we'll get to the tunnel at the end. We'll get ourselves because we're, we're pretty safe in the tunnel. We'll light a little fire, warm ourselves up before we carry on into Broken Railroad. Obviously, we've got several places we need to get to in Broken Railroad. It's worth mentioning that in order to get up to the lodge, we need the key. Um, well, in order to get up to the lodge, we need to get through a gate. Now, in survival mode, the gate is just open. But I have a feeling that in um, winter mute, the gate's going to be locked. So we're probably going to need the key. So I suspect that uh, we are going to find ourselves having to go through, um, through the rail yard before we can make it to... Or we can make it to the lodge. The ominous long dark music playing now. I do love the music in the long dark, I have to say. It's really eerie and it suits the mood of the game really well. So just keeping an eye open. I am being confused, I have to be honest, by the the barking Ooh, ooh, okay. A dude with a note. Blood soaked notes, that's always an ominous thing. Judging by the amount of blood frozen on this page, he also wasn't doing too well when he wrote it. First it was the expletive rancid meat, then the sprained ankle, then the expletive, expletive convict out of nowhere. Gave him the slip by falling down into a damn ravine, of course, that's when the expletive wolves came, dropped my stuff and ran. As much as I could with a sprained ankle. If you're reading this, this is as far as I got. Should never have tried to leave Milton. Well, that is someone who, unfortunately, did not make it very far. Find the cache at the end of the ravine in the Broken Railroad region. Okay. Well, is that not on the map? Oh, it is. Oh, no, that's where we are. Oh, okay, there's actually an arrow telling us where we are. And that's, that's actually called Poacher's Camp. That's the... The derailment, I didn't realise that had the name Poacher's Camp. Okay, so I have a feeling then, when we get through into the other region, that's going to hopefully be marked on the map and we'll be able to find it. So we've got a, a supply cache in the ravine that hopefully we'll be able to find. So let's carry on for the moment then. When we get to uh, the rail yard, I think I'm just going to review the side missions that we've got and just see what we can, uh, what we can do for the side missions. Now that Jeremiah is healed, um, I mean, there wasn't any indication that I had a time limit on that anyway, but I was just a bit worried that I did, so I wanted to kind of rush back and get that sorted. But now uh, we know he's okay, we can uh, have a look at some of these side missions. 
see if we can uh, claim a few of them. Okay, so. Here we are at the end of Forlorn Muskeg. We're passing into Broken Railroad. We're going to head down towards the rail maintenance yard. We know there's lots of wolves around in rail, uh, Broken Railroad, so we're going to have to be very careful. So we're going to leave Forlorn Muskeg. What I think I'm going to do, we'll leave Forlorn Muskeg, we'll pop out the other side, and we'll just have a little bit of a fire, uh, warm ourselves up before we continue. Um, so let's just let this light, just make sure nothing untoward is going to leap on us as soon as we come through the door. Temperature minus nine, okay. I'm going to get a fire going then, and we shall uh, warm ourselves up and then we shall carry on. Okay, so we are pretty much sorted then. We're warmed back up quite nicely. There's a little bit of time left on that fire, but not a lot, so we're going to get moving. Uh, I will take a torch from it though, just so that we've got something. There we are. And let's get moving again. So I've also had some coffee as well and made a little bit more water. So we've replenished our water supply just a little bit. And we've also uh, warmed ourselves up, given ourselves that uh, fatigue and warmth bonus as well as we head forward. So not too bad at all. And also this torch is going to help warm us up for a short period of time. Certainly until, the, uh, until it burns out. Okay, so making our way down the railroad then. We are in Broken Railroad. In fact, if I just quickly bring the map up, you can see where we are, where we're headed. That's the maintenance yard that we are currently heading towards. And that is um, the lodge that we know we have to get to. There's the bridge that goes across to the lodge. And there is the rail, rail maintenance yard. So we need to get to the rail maintenance yard, I suspect, in order to get the key to pass through. Okay, that's re that's expired. It's worth mentioning, by the way, that I did drink that coffee probably about half an hour game time before I uh, started moving off there because I just made the water after I drank the coffee. I did it the wrong way around. So that's why that expired so quickly. So again, we're going to make our way down here. We're going to keep our eyes open for what's going on. Noise we can hear, I think, is a waterfall, which is just down to the right. I'm still getting confused by my neighbour's dog that keeps uh, yapping outside. It's making me think I can hear a wolf in game, and it's actually my neighbour's dog. Which, when you've got headphones on, sounds remarkably like a wolf in the long dark. <laughs> which, uh, trust me, it's uh, nothing like a wolf at all. Can't remember what breed it is actually, but it's not really. It's only a little. It's only a little thing. It's it's actually a very friendly dog. Okay, so we've hit a bit of a roadblock. As per usual, I have forgotten the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. It's actually quite complicated, isn't it? If I re recall to get around uh, this region, I keep forgetting how complicated it is. Okay, there's a wolf. Hey wolf! Hey wolf! I don't think a match is going to do anything. I think I need a rifle. There we go. It's going to be slightly better. Where is it? I've lost a wolf. It's never a good thing to lose lose wolves. Where is it? It's obviously got stuck on something. It's glitched and got stuck on something that it can't get past. There it is! And we're fighting! Yes, Slash! Wow. That took a bit of uh, bit of catching there. Okay, I've got, a, got some blood loss. And it's running back towards me. I also need to use some antiseptic. And I'm also going to use painkillers on that ankle. So we're now 100% healed. I don't know where the wolf's gone, but let's uh, try and get out of here quickly before it comes back. It will be injured, of course, as well, so it may well drop. 
worrying too much about that. We're not uh, we're not really crafting things in in the winter mute. We can we can take our time and we can wait out and, and cure pelts and things and do all that good stuff. But I'm not going to do that. We don't need to. Okay, so I'm going to cross the tree bridge. We'll see our condition has dropped to fifty percent. We took quite a bit of a quite a bit of damage from that because I was clicking on the on the button to choose my uh, my weapon to pick up my hatchet and it it wasn't having it. It didn't select it, so uh, we ended up taking a pretty big condition hit there. It will continue to regenerate. That's one thing about the condition changes now. Um, with the last couple of updates of the long dart, the condition uh, method has changed slightly, and it does slowly regenerate continuously. You don't have to be sleeping. It regenerates quicker when you're sleeping, but uh, it will slowly regenerate continuously. As long as all of your gauges, all your survival gauges are all in the, in the white. None of them are red, you're all good. So it will slowly come back up. Okay, so we've come back round, we're back to the railroad again now, I think, aren't we? Yep. So we're around the blockage, back on the railroad. Now I need to make our way down. Carry on towards the mail, uh, the mail maintenance yard. The mail maintenance yard. Hey dear. Again, I'm not hunting in winter mute. I, I honestly don't see the point of doing it. We're not going to gain anything from it. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Yeah, so we are almost there, so hopefully we can. I don't think there's another blockage that we have to get around before we get there. I think we can I think we can go that way, but it's a bit of a circuitous route. We'd be better off sticking to the tracks, sticking to the railway and making our way up. There's a, a locomotive just around this corner as well, I think. Yes, there it is. I don't think we can get inside it, though. It's it's a landmark that appears on the map, but I don't think we can actually get inside. Oh, we do need to drop down and get around a blockage. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Okay, here's the engine, then. We can get on top of the engine, but we can't get inside it, which is a little bit disappointing. So we've got a little bit of a crash here. I've never actually properly looked up here, to be fair. We've got some firewood, which I'm going to have. Ooh, okay. I didn't realise I could enter this. Let's enter. Am I going to regret this? Okay, I don't think I've ever been inside this. Oh, okay. oh no, I can't exit. Okay. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Oh shit. That's not gone well. I thought I'd never used that before. It was obviously not in survival mode. Look at the lights. Holy moly, we're in the, a spot of bother. Okay, I now don't know where the heck we are. Okay, well, I am going to say thank you so much for watching. We've hit our time limit on this video. We're going to carry on in the next video and make our way out of this situation, but... Uh, Right now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Check out the other playlists as well. And I'm going to see you again. My heart's pounding. I'm going to see you again.
For the next video, I'm going to leave you in suspense very, very soon.